Hello, and welcome to our short guide on provisioning a SIP phone on Stun with 3CX. For this guide, we'll be using a SNOM D785, though the process is nearly identical on other SIP phones. Starting off on our 3CX dashboard, we're going to navigate to the Users tab, and from here, we're going to select the extension we wish to provision our phone to. Now we're going to navigate to the Provisioning tab, and select Add to add a new phone. Here, I'm going to select the SNOM D785 template in the drop-down list. Now I'll input the MAC address found on the back of the phone. And finally, we'll change the provisioning method to direct SIP STUN. And for STUN provision phones, we will also need to go to the Options tab and ensure the Disallow Use of Extension Outside of LAN setting is disabled. In some rare cases, the audio stream can be lost on a call while the PBX attempts to hand off audio handling to the two parties while using STUN. To prevent this behavior, we're going to navigate to the Options tab and enable the PBX Delivers Audio setting. This will force the PBX to handle audio traffic in all cases for this extension. We can now save these extension settings by pressing the OK button at the top. We now have a couple of options to provision this phone. We can either set up DHCP Option 66, which may be useful in cases where you're setting up a large office with many phones as it circumvents the need for logging into each phone one at a time, or we can manually input our provisioning URL to the phone's web interface directly. For this guide, we'll be manually inputting our provisioning URL. We're now going to need access to our phone's web interface. To do this, we will need the IP address of the phone. We can gather this from a few places, such as the menu from the physical phone, or using an IP scanner. Now that we've gathered this phone's IP address, we're going to navigate to this IP in our web browser. Here, we'll be asked for a device username and a password, for a SNOM device, the default will be admin for both username and password. From here, the first thing you'll want to do is check the current firmware version of this phone to ensure it's on the latest supported version. To do this, we will navigate to the System Information tab, and here we can see the phone is on 10.1.33.33. We can now cross-reference this with the 3CX supported firmware list found at the following link. This link will be posted in the description of this video. Here is our D785 firmware. It looks like we're not running the latest version, so I'm going to right-click Download and save this link address. Now I'll move back to the phone's interface and navigate to the Software Update tab, and I'll paste that link here. Now I'll press Load. Within the next 10 minutes, our updated firmware should be applied. And we're back, and we're going to head back to the System Information page to check the firmware once again. We can now see we're running the most up-to-date firmware. We can now begin provisioning the phone. We're going to head back to the 3CX management console, and then to this extension, and now to the provisioning tab where we can copy the provisioning URL found here. Now on the phone's interface, we're going to navigate to the advanced tab, and now update, and here in the settings URL, we're going to paste our provisioning link, and then apply at the bottom. We can now reboot this phone to allow it to provision. Now we've waited a few minutes and our phone should be up and running. We can check to see if our phone is registered by navigating to the Phones tab. And here we can find our newly provisioned and registered D785. And thank you for joining me on this walkthrough. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to us at 844-448-3546 or through email at sales at telem.com.